For our first trial, we taped two pop cans together and used four wires to connect the cans to an eight gallon bag. It was a fail. So after that, we decided to get rid of the tape because it burned and we used wires instead of the tape. And instead of the eight gallon bag, we used a 30 gallon bag. For trial number two, we wired two pop cans together, then wired them to a 30 gallon bag. It was a fail. For our next trial, we got rid of two cans and used one can with tin foil. For trial number three, we put tin foil to the bottom of one pop can and wired the can to a 30 gallon bag. This was a total fail. So after that, we got rid of the can idea and used tin fo a tin foil bowl instead, starting from scratch. For trial number four, we used tin foil as a base and two wires to connect the base to a 30 gallon bag. This was a total fail. We, so we got, instead of wires, we got rid of them and used straws. After four trials already and failing all the times, we decided we don't work well together, so we broke off to work alone. Me, Haley, used tin foil <laughs> on the bottom of a Dixie cup and used an eight gallon bag. Jess Tharp used eight straws with a tin foil in the middle and a 30 gallon bag. Stop. Right here you can see the Dixie cup with a tin foil and there's the eight gallon bag. Bags connected to the tin foil with wire. This is the apparatus that uses straws to connect the black bag to the apparatus to make it fly. We're soaring, flying. Success isn't measured by the number of trials that it took you to get there. It's measured by the perseverance and willing power to succeed. You know, Thomas Edison tried and failed thousands of times to make the light bulb. What's stopping us now with the hot air balloon?